The decision-making subtest can seem intimidating, or just strange. It's part mathematics, part logic, part riddle. But there are concrete strategies for tackling each of these question types, and that's what the videos in this following series will cover. The decision-making subtest of the UK CAT has 29 questions to be answered in 31 minutes. This works out nicely at just over a minute per question. How long you spend on each question will vary widely by question type. For simple Venn diagram analysis or basic probability questions, you should probably be spending no more than 20 to 30 seconds per question. But for tough conclusion picking or logic puzzle questions, you will be spending more like 60 to 80 seconds per question. Realistically, you will have to guess a couple of questions. If you find yourself in that position, don't panic and don't guess randomly. Guess a difficult logic puzzle or a convoluted conclusion drawing question. These are far more likely to take up your time rather than a simple probability or Venn diagram question. So what are these different question types? We have shape equations. These are akin to equations to be solved with substitution being the ideal method. These types of questions should take you between 40 to 60 seconds. Conclusion drawing. These are challenging questions requiring keyword tracking and deductive reasoning. These type of questions should take you between 60 to 80 seconds. Logic puzzles. These are akin to riddles and involve using tunnel vision to focus on the most mentioned name or category. These types of questions should also take you between 60 to 80 seconds. Analyzing the Venn diagram. These are the easiest questions if you have good working knowledge of Venn diagrams. Therefore, they should only really take you between 20 to 40 seconds. Pick the Venn diagram. These are slightly harder than analyzing the Venn diagram. The best method is elimination. So I would recommend that you spend between 40 to 60 seconds on this style of question. Basic probability. These are the second easiest questions, though they require confidence with converting fractions and percentages and are best tackled with the affirmative simplifying approach. These types of questions should take you between 20 to 40 seconds. Finally, the last type of question is find the best argument. Some students find these questions hard because the answers seem so subjective, but try not to worry. There is a strategy for solving them. Remember to focus on objectivity and completeness. I would recommend spending between 40 to 60 seconds on these questions. Each of these question types will be covered in great detail over the following videos. We hope that these videos can persuade you that rather than being the scariest section of the UK CAT, the decision-making subtest can actually be the most approachable. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.